My name is Stuart Sandstrom, President and CEO of the Kalamazoo Regional Chamber of Commerce. I'm here today at Angeletti Pictures to talk a little bit about my forecast for 2011. I want to talk about four areas. One, political. Two, economical. Three, the quality of life in our region. And four, I want to talk just a little bit about what the Chamber has in store for 2011. Politically, 2011 is a year of great opportunity for us. Federally, on down to the locals, is we've got things set up very, very well. Federally, our own Fred Upton is chairing the important Energy and Commerce Committee and gives us a great straight line to the important issues of the day in, in Washington and hopefully can leverage that relationship that we've built for so many years, not only with Fred, but from, for many other members of Congress that represent the state of Michigan. Many of them have chairmanships and are in positions of great influence so that we can get, get our point of view for job providers across. In the State House, our very own Jace Bolger is going to be Speaker of the House. On the Senate side, Tanya Shootmaker is the President Pro Tem a very influential position, again, where we can leverage that relationship to move forward a couple of issues that we think are top priorities in 2011 in Lansing. Those two things are tax code reform and regulatory reform. We need more flexibility in regulation. We need a broader, simpler, lower rate form of business taxation. At the local level, in 2010, we had a county commission race where a number of fantastic candidates were elected. We talked with them during their campaign and as the, the vote came through about one main topic, that was efficiency in government. That they need to reach across governmental lines to provide efficiency. If that's collaboration, that's terrific partnerships are an absolute must. That's going to be a theme we continue through to the November 8th election. Yep, there's another one coming. Those, that November 8th election will feature our very local candidates. Candidates running for city council, city commission, township positions across the region. Again, government efficiencies, government partnerships, and potentially some consolidations across those lines. All of that leads to a terrific opportunity for us in 2011. Economically, we're gonna build on a successful 2010. Virtually every one of our members say that 10 was better than nine. Now nine's not much of a year to compare to, but better is much preferred over the alternative. We're seeing some nice pockets right now of, of really terrific success, no matter what year we benchmark against. And we really think that 2011 is going to be a breakout year for the Kalamazoo region. One point of evidence to that trend line, I think, is Bronson Healthcare Group. They've just expanded through acquisition, acquisition of the Battle Creek Health Systems. That's good for two reasons for our region. First, right here at corporate, health, uh, corporate headquarters for Bronson, there is a great opportunity for job creation through this expansion. Secondly, it stabilizes things at the Battle Creek Health System and, and a more stable region is better for all of us. From a quality of life perspective, we're gonna to continue to have terrific events that we've become accustomed to down at Arcadia Commons West. The Blues Fest and the Rib Fest and all those fests are gonna continue and we're gonna talk a little bit about expanding Arcadia Commons this year too. We're gonna to have nationally known events, the, uh, the Nats at at Kalamazoo College in Western, that premier national tournament for tennis players, young male tennis players, is gonna happen once again and bring people from across the country to our region. One event that's brand new that has been much anticipated for a number of years is the inaugural Kalamazoo Marathon. In fact, it's gonna start right up the road here from Angeletti Pictures at Borges Nazareth Campus. I, that's going to bring people from all over the country. We already, we have 33 states represented with runners and we expect all 50 plus DC, probably somebody from Guam, who knows, might go international with a Canadian runner here or there. So we're really looking forward to that and bringing a vibrancy to the community. 
Lastly, let me tell you just a little bit about what's going to happen at the Chamber. I told you some about our advocacy efforts, efficiencies, consolidations, some reforms. We're going to continue to offer valuable educational seminars to help you with the bottom line and to be more innovative. And speaking of innovative, we've got two new programs that we're going to be featuring in early 2011. That's three. Two. One is the tryitlocal.com program. It's a deals program where uh, you sign up once a week. There's going to be a terrific deal from a restaurant, a, a salon, a tavern, a, an attraction where you're going to get 50% off something that you buy, maybe up to 90%. Tryitlocal.com slash Kalamazoo is where you can go for more information. The other one is as I drove in, I noticed that the gas prices were a little high. If you're a chamber member and, a, and an employee of a chamber member, we're going to give you a discount card for five cents off every gallon of gas that you buy. Now, I was very pleased to use it personally looked around at all the folks at the other gas pumps and thought, ha, I'm getting the best deal of anybody here. Those two kind of innovative programs are just a telltale sign of what we're doing every day to try and make it easier for our members to grow and prosper. So whether it's politically, economically, a, a better quality of life in our region, or the hard work that the chamber, their volunteers, and our staff are doing, 2011, I am confident, is going to be a terrific year for our members to grow and prosper.